Right, here's a game for fans of old-fashioned turn-based roguelikes, with a lot of Lovecraftian stuff thrown in. A Door in the Woods is coming out on PC this December, and it's all about being driven insane by evil creatures. It returns your experience, which carries over to the next game and lets you unlock new stuff. You spawn at a random place on the map and have to loot buildings to gain weapons and crafting materials, or you can just escape into the woods. And I've been playing it quite a lot today. Let's go into this building. And this is actually quite a fascinating little game. Uh, so far I've been repeatedly torn apart by dogs, burnt to death, eaten by cannibals, and I also got the shits. I've also run away from zombies, vampires, more dogs, nameless horrors, and something I couldn't even spell. Right, hang on. We actually do need to start looting things because we have hunger and thirst and all that sort of stuff as well. Uh, the sanity mechanism, which I mentioned earlier, it's good to go insane. However, if you do die, you lose all the experiences that you accumulated. So you want to go insane, gain experience, and then go non-insane by reading books and things like that to get your sanity up, and then it doesn't really matter if you die because your experiences will carry over. If you manage to gain 100 experiences, you will unlock a new scenario, which is rather tasty. Right, so I'm actually just looting all this furniture at the moment. Very little in here. Oh, chemicals! Oh, you can combine them with other stuff to craft stuff. Like, or, or you can just use it to clean your gun. Cruelly, it only gives you um, one bullet in your gun to start with. And so you have to be use that in an, only in a dire emergency. But um, you can get new ammo. And you can also find weapons all over the place. Let's actually reload. There we go. So now I've got a very generous two bullets. And also some dog food. Nice. Um, if you press space, this is turn-based. Um, if you press space, you can kill time. Um, and you might want to do that for whatever reason. If you're just like waiting for creatures, zombies, to creep around outside and you don't want to be detected. Oh, you can also do things like hide in the bushes, which is actually a very useful thing to do if you're in the woods. Ooh, I don't like the look of that. There are cannibals in this game and they do have guns. Um, that's my, my inventory. Basically, we can fill that little bit of... Th this little box up and beyond that, we'll have to start dropping things or whatever. You can drink from swamps but it's not recommended because you might get dysentery and poo your insides out. You don't want to do that. It smells. Not really finding much... Okay, we need to... Oh, what's this? Looks like an old broken-ass... something. One spawned in a church. That was well fun. We're actually on one side of a, a wall here, so we can't actually get through to there. What's that? All the percentage signs are always something to loot. In fact, now I've got two stones. Um, I can actually use one to make a blade out of the other. That does take quite a bit of time, though. So let's equip that, just in case we get into any melee situations. I don't really want to go into the woods, actually. So it does use a combination. It's mainly like a mouse-driven, really. I mean, you can actually use your mouse to move, but or you can use W, A, S, and D. But a lot of the a lot of the actions are mouse-based. I still don't know what's in there. I wonder if we can try and get in there. Immediately, it doesn't look very promising. Hmm. I have got food, but I don't have water at the moment, and I can always drink from the swamp, but as I say, I don't recommend that. Let's go down the road for a bit. So, uh oh, thirsty. Well, let's drink some swamp water. Why not? Ah, I, I was lucky. I did not get the shits. Oh, there's a zombie on the road. It should be okay. Oh god, there's two zombies on the road. Don't think he's seen me yet, though. No, he's not. They will give a little exclamation mark. Let's try and hide in a bush. If I can find a bush. There's a bush. I'm gonna press I'm pressing space now to like him kill time. Watching the zombie go past. Oh, he's doubling back. Where's it going? Yeah, it's going into the distance. Let's creep through the bushes. <gasps> There's something in the bushes. Right, let's eat the mouldy bread whilst we're here. Unfortunately that's actually made me go slightly insane. But that's actually not a bad thing. When I'm better equipped, when I've got like a, an extra book, I'm actually going to drop this. Um, that gives you, reading that gives you like the opening spiel. But I don't think I need it again. I'm going, oh god, zombie. Right, let's just basically try and go around him. If, I, if we go down through here, oh no, we don't want to do that. Let's see what that is. Oh, firewood, not firewood. You can make bonfires and keep yourself warm and sane if you're actually running around the woods. That looks a bit of a dead end. <gasps> you see, mate? Let's see if we can actually... Oh dear. Uh-oh. He's investigating the bushes. Oh, no, he's gone. Thank God for that. Okay. I think we're safe. At the moment... Ooh, careful! Is he right next to me? 
Oh, he's, oh, he's investigating the bushes. Piss off. It is now 9pm. It's getting very dark now. So there's a bit of dread. Find shelter or start a fire to push away the darkness. I think now is the time to make a run for it. <gasps> My, um... Hello. <laughs> My vision is very low because it's so dark. Thankfully, you can outrun zombies quite easily. Dogs are harder to outrun, and also vampires are a bit of a prick to outrun as well. <gasps> At the moment, we're just facing zombies in the world's longest road. We do need to find a town quickly. We are in the middle of bloody nowhere. Uh, thankfully, we are good for food and water. Ah, uh, vampire! I don't know what to do about it. I can't shoot it. Ah. Uh. I'm being absolutely mullered. Ah, absolute swarm of arseholes. The vampire is ever so slightly faster than me, so... Yeah, that's it. I am now. I'm about to die. Still haven't actually found a way of really um, of defeating vampires other than just run away from them. Let's try again. This is the first scenario. A lone wolf scenario requires a hundred. Um, and it's, it is definitely possible to get a hundred, but yeah, you, have to, you do have to spend quite a bit of time insane. And then there's another scenario here, which is a thousand. But let's try again with the first one. So I haven't um, been given any instructions here. It's just I've just I've been learning this game simply by playing it. it, it as I say, it gives you very little to go on. Uh, and I think I've um, I think I've worked out that one of the um, the best things to do is to. Uh, basically find note fragments in houses. And if you piece four of them together, you get a note, which you can actually read. I think that may advance things. Right, let's let's loot this place. Potatoes. Nice. A match, I'll take a match. Which can be lit. What the hell? Oh, a mimic! God damn it. Um, in which case... Let's shoot the damn thing. Got it. That really, really hurt. Look, it scattered the bits of mimic all over the place. Elder flesh. Is that good to eat? The only way to become stronger is to sacrifice own sanity. Eating this will increase strength by seven. Well, fine. <laughs> I need to actually stop the bleeding. Riot armor. I wear that. I've got nothing to stop the bleeding with. That mimic was a prick. I'm slowly bleeding out here. I will stop bleeding after a while. There we go. I've already been there. I think I've already been in there. Let's, let's leave. Try and find a better house than that. Anything in here? Yep. Booze. No fragment. Yay. Okay. So you, you can't um, do anything with this until you've assembled... Well, until you've got four. Uh, match. Yeah, whatever. Chemicals? Anything I can do at the moment? Well, I don't need to clean my gun because I've got no bullets anyway. I've got a bullet. Right. Reload. Nice. There's an enemy outside. You might be able to see me through the windows if I'm not careful. There's another window. There's a front door there. Nothing around. Nothing seems to be out here. Stone. I'll take a stone. Vampire! Let's try to avoid it. Oh, a centipede. Okay, I'll avoid that. I'm going to make a blade out of the two stones. Oh, bloody hell, that was that took a while. Should have probably waited to do that inside. <laughs> Thankfully, did not get seen. So I really could do with finding a book. So if I do go insane, I will be able to get uninsane. Or sane, as it's sometimes known. There's a big lot of doors here. Okay. Rag. Good. Turn into bandage. We don't get caught out by that again. Look at our health. Our health, health is on the floor. Another note fragment. It's a big old place, this. And a book. Right. Now we're allowed to go insane. <laughs> uh, there is a rifle there, but I'm not going to pick it up. I think I'd rather get... Let's drop the stone blade. And get the combat knife instead. Equip that. That might help us out a bit more. Some dog food? Don't really need to eat at the moment. Now, does alcohol slate your thirst? 
Calm down your mind or settle your stomach. Hmm. No, don't worry about that. Oh, another note fragment. That's three. And another one. Right. We're going to assemble the note. And we're going to read the note. Plus ten. I've only just arrived here, and already I can tell that something is wrong. One of the book. A pallor hangs over everything, yet no one acknowledges it. I think I'm going to read this. Like everyone in this damn world, they go about their lives in ignorance. I am the only one left to seek out the truth. More booze? Metal pipe. Nah. I'm forced to pry the intel out of them, fight for what little they offer me. Each piece is vital. Got myself a note fragment. Animals go mad. Dead loved ones, seen out of the corner of your eye, even the cremated. I'm going to drop the firewood. I know that I'm close to what I'm looking for. There has to be a scientific explanation behind these phenomena. A oh, match, look at that. There's something outside. Do it? No, sod the odd fruit. Uh, there's, there's quite a few things outside. I, I really don't want to go north at this point. Oh, soda. Right. Um. I do. I don't mind going insane at this point. It's fine. I'm going to drop my clothes. Or oh, tearing them to rags. Although, fortunately, that's puts them all on the floor. And um, let's make some bandages. And get the soda drink. We don't actually need to drink it just yet. This is a big old place. Another note fragment. There's a hell of a lot of note fragments in this one place. Nothing in there. Maybe it's a school or something. Oh, a food ration. There's generous. Uh, I think I'll drop the stone and pick up the food ration. Don't know what a wooden board's for. Another note fragment? We're going to get another note at this rate. This is a generous old place. Ah, metal scrap. That's very useful stuff. Um, Dehydrated. How do we get rid of that? I mean, is that the same thing as thirsty? Let's drink this. Oh, yes it is. Yes. Unfortunately, I think that actually gained me sanity, which I say I don't necessarily want. Glass bottle. That's useful to, to pick up some water. I think we've done this. Yeah, there's nothing in there. It is now almost midnight. I'm tempted to spend the night here. I wonder if I could actually make a fire inside. Oh, I've already been there. That's... I'm just thinking, maybe if I make a fire, I'll be able to actually read the book. Oh, we need more than one. Right, got to be very careful. I'm going to be a bit more turn-based now. <laughs> He's seen me. I just don't want to avoid... I do want to avoid vampires. I'm trying to keep in mind where I've come from as well. Oh, firewood! I think I can drop note one now. Let's get the firewood. More firewood. In fact, I don't need to go back to that place, do I? I can do it here, I guess. Um, I think there's windows to the right. There's also windows to the left. There's windows every bloody where. Let's go in here. Nothing there. Potates. Right. Maybe if we light a fire here. How much do we bloody need? God damn it. I'll go into the woods then. Zombies down there. Mmm, slow sanity drain. Another zom. I just spent about ten minutes running into a tree there, by mistake. Okay, here. <gasps> that might be a cannibal's lair. Let's avoid that. Dog! Shit. Shoot the dog. No, I missed it! Combat knife. Kill! 87. Kill! Did it. Down to two health. <gasps> Please don't run into a vampire at this point. We 
might grab some... Hang on. Glass bottle. Fill. So I've got dirty, dirty water now. I wonder if I can... What happened there? There's, oh, there's, there's a horror. There's literally just horror in that house. Hector's house of horror. Let's avoid that. <laughs> Let's not go into the house of horror. That's bad. Bollocks to Hector. I am now firmly ensconced in the wood. My sanity's down to one. Please, can we just make a bloody... There we go. I also need to light the bonfire. There we go. I wonder if I can actually um, boil it. Yes, I can. Now I have bottled water that I can actually drink. I could really do with more health, because at the moment I am not feeling very tasty. I wonder if I can restore health over time. Just by sitting here and doing now... No. Well, I think at this point it would be nice to actually go insane. Let's try and go insane. Let's, in fact, if we can, let's go and... Here we go, there's the horror. Yes, I am now insane. Hooray! Right, let's run away from the horror. I don't really want to remain horrified. But look, I am now gaining experiences. I have five of the bloody things. Let's hide in here. So, slowly but surely, my experience... Numbers is ticking up. I would would not mind. Was a little little puddle there. I would not mind at some point reading the book, to, because that means if I do die, the ex, my experiences will carry over. We're up to seventy. I really want to go for. Oh god, I need to eat. Food ration. Eat. Sorted. But just stay here. Unfortunately, my experiences are going up very slowly, because I think you have to do stuff, ideally. But it's getting dark. Have I used up all my firewood? Yes, I have. Well, maybe if I try and get back to the... Uh, the bonfire would have burnt out by the time I get back. Let's try and pick up some more firewood, then. Is that some? Yes, it is. Right. Fire. Uh, kindle it. Boil the water. Drink the water. My sanity is still... Let's see if I can... Zero. This, let's see if I can actually read the book. I can. Right, I'm reading the book very slowly. And slowly but surely I'm gaining sanity. In fact, very fast I'm gaining sanity. Hooray! The bonfire's gone out now. And I can get rid of the book. Drop it. There we go. Oh, I'm actually pressing the wrong button. Right. <laughs> right, okay. Right, so good. I have gained 41 experiences. Let's get out of here. I mean, you can. I mean, you can. If you want to, like, um, bank your experiences, what you simply can do is, like, um, take something like a, a loaded gun and just suicide, um, and then you'll, um, say you'll bank the 41 experiences. Ah, finally found a road. Um, it's now 7.30 in the evening. There will be zombies on the road. I think it might be wise to make a bonfire again. And glass bottle. Fill it. And boil it. <gasps> Drink it. Run! <laughs> uh, give him the old run around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these um these like wood these wood the roads to the woods do seem to have a few zombies on them, but not too dangerous. My sanity's going down again. I don't really want to go back into the bloody woods. They're so large. Let's go right down the middle. Oh, my vision is very low. I'm down to zero. Oh my god! Look at my health. It's on z one more hit and I'm dead. And there's a dog. Well, that's fine. So we've, we've gained 41 experiences. Yeah. <laughs> Died in the in the bloody bush. Right, okay, so that's it. That's um, um, the door in the woods. It's out in Dece on December, um, and it's very cool. Um, so do check out the rest of my channel um, for more of the best indie games around, uh, and check out the link to the Patreon if you want to support us. Keep us going. Uh, see you next time.